there aren't actually that many scorpions in the desert. The lack of water and crickets limits their population to a very low number. That's why when you're walking through the desert, you don't really see scorpions. However, when we build houses in the desert, we bring something with us, water. This water allows the crickets and the roaches to breed exponentially and draws from the green belts, the scorpions, to the property. You can see here a grass that's not indigenous to Arizona, able to grow because of the excess water. If I move around this location, you'll be able to see the actual dripper here in my hand that releases water and keeps this plant alive. This additional water causes the scorpion population to boom right around homes. As they expand their territories, they eventually move inside the home. Eventually they notice that there are in cricket infestations inside the walls of the home. This material here is, is cricket droppings or cricket fecal matter. This is actually normal here in the desert. The crickets love the cooler air that comes out from the wall. They actually can fit up into that gap right here. This infestation of crickets draws the scorpions further into the home and they start showing up in your wife's shoes.